Mini Challenge car is just absolutely intense. There's so much going on. It feels like a proper little touring car. Uh, you've got a sequential box, big lever that you've got to bang through, quite hard, quite physical. Uh, the steering's light, but the whole car is busy. You know, the suspension's busy. The whole car's bobbling around as you're driving it, hopping over curbs. The gearbox I, I absolutely love. It's probably not the quickest thing, uh, but having a big stick to pull on and hear, and as you upshift, you hear the flames and everything. It's uh, it really adds to it. It's, it's fantastic. Um, getting the best from it is it takes a lot of technique, I guess, because it is very pointy. So the front end is hyper responsive. The rear end is designed to give you some oversteer to keep the car pinned onto the apex. Um, and it's got a lot of power, so traction is an issue that you always have to think about. It's got loads of traction, it's on slick tyres, so from, from a road car perspective it's got a lot of traction, but you've still got to dial into that and remember that the front tyres have got a lot to do in this car. When you do start to trust it, you can really fling it into corners, you can feel the rear of the car slide but then stabilise, just points you into the corner beautifully. Um, brakes also very good, you can lock them on the way down, but I would say the, whole, the feedback of the car was a lot better than when we drove it last time. I think that's what encapsulates the experience actually, you're hustling the car, you're busy with the gearbox, you're busy thinking about how much throttle you can put on out of the long corner onto the back straight to get the best drive. And it's a slightly manic, scrappy experience but the quality of what the car's doing is really high. So it's, um, it's a real challenge and exciting, really exciting thing. I enjoyed it a lot. Click on the link to watch the full Track Car of the Year film and for all the onboard laps, go to the TCOTI playlist.